Hey guys, Mike here at Amish Tutorials, and welcome back to a new video. All right, so what are we going to do today? We're going to do an animation tutorial, and I'm going to explain the process of cycled animation, or continuously um, looping, if you will. Okay, so what are we talking about here? Sometimes in the scene, you will have an object that is kind of constantly moving. Uh, for example, a car that's running idle, or a window shutter that's slightly moving in the wind or something like that okay in this case what we're going to do is we're going to simulate a, a pot of water on the fire and the water is boiling so you would typically have that uh, motion of the uh, the lid um, kind of uh, moving up and down and sideways and so forth okay so that's what we're going to animate and we want this to be in a continuous loop okay so it just keeps on going if you will so that's what we're going for right so I set up this uh, this simple scene here, which is you know a kitchen with a, a pot on the fire, and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that these two are separate objects, obviously, because we want our uh, lid to be able to move. We're going to select our lid. We're going to go to uh, modify and center pivot to make sure it's centered. We're going to go to edit, delete by type history and we're going to go to modify freeze transformations all right so we're all set now we're going to set up a uh, animation loop of 33 frames okay so this is our animation slider we're at frame one right now and down here we're going to set 33 and 33 okay now because we want this to be in a loop we need to make sure that the first frame of the animation and the last frame of the animation are in identical position to kind of give that smoothness okay if you don't it's going to jump from 33 to 1 in a different position and that will kind of disturb the motion okay so we're on frame 1 and let's see we're going to hit S to keyframe that and I'll just uh, Let's see if I can do it this way. Just give me one sec, guys. Okay, so we're going to be initially moving it in our upward position, like so. Okay, so that's in our Y. So we're going to hit Control Z to go back. We're going to go into our Y field. We're going to right click and we're going to click on the set key. And that's on frame one. Okay. Then we're going to scroll all the way down to 33. And then we're going to go in, right click and set key. OK, so now you have the red line here on frame one and the red line on frame 33. OK, so now we're going to go into the middle of our scene, which would be frame 17. And we're going to very, very slightly lift the lid. And that's going to be absolute minimal. You don't want to do this do something like let's see yeah we'll do something like so 0 0.305 okay so we're gonna right click we're gonna set key and now we have three keyframes so now if we start to play our animation you kind of see that the lid is jumping up and down okay we're gonna go back to our frame one and what we want to do is we want halfway of this set here and halfway of this set, we want to have motion in a different direction. Okay, so we're going to move this guy to, uh, let's say, uh, we'll do nine, frame nine. Okay, and what we're going to do is we are going to hit E on our object. E, okay and we're gonna rotate this just a little bit very very minimal okay so let's do a rotation of 0 0.2 okay and we're gonna right click and set key okay then we're gonna move forward and we're gonna move to frame 25 like so and we're going to rotate in the other direction. Let's do minus 2.5. That's a bit much. 
minus 2, maybe even less, minus 1.5. All right. And we're going to right click and we're going to set key. So now we have key 1 being stationary, key 33 being stationary. We have key 17 where we have a vertical lift. And on 9 and 25, we have movement to the left and to the right. Okay. So we're going to set back to frame 1. And let's hit play and see what we got. And there you have it. There's your pot lid, and it's continuously moving around. Okay, so that's all there's to it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.